Let's get right to some disturbing video tonight at Grimsley High School. A viewer shot this video yesterday. Police told us three women, including a mother and grandmother, came onto campus and joined a fight between two students. Now those women are facing charges. The video comes just a couple of weeks after several other fights were captured on camera. Last month, several girls at Eastern Guilford got into a fight. The difference this time around is that adults got involved. Yeah, the district says this behavior does not belong in schools. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland got some perspective from parents and an expert. A Grimsley High School dad told me the school sent an email to parents addressing the fight. He says, unfortunately, he wasn't surprised by it. This video appears to show a family joining a fight between students at Grimsley High School. A student's mother, grandmother, and aunt face charges after police say they trespassed on school property and encouraged the fight. Officers also say the mother assaulted a teacher who tried to break it up. Yeah, I showed the video to Tenny Olson as he picked up his son at school. The kids get in fights and all that stuff, but the parents trying to beat up the other kid because they were fighting that. They should have broke it up instead of gotten into the fight. Psychotherapist Nanette Funderburg agrees. There's a power differential between adults and children. Um, so we, uh, you know, we really don't want that to be there. She says one way to stop physical fights between kids is to have open communication and listen Likely, often. You know, I'm not speaking for this specific situation, um, but when we when we see things kind of erupt, um, it's not erupting just out of that specific second. There's something else that likely went on. She says parents can help resolve conflicts in a healthy, peaceful way. Most parents, their goal is to help their children, protect their children, advocate for their children. Um, you, you want to make sure that the way that comes across is a way that actually does help and advocate and protect um, and not take you out of the situation or make things worse. Police told us the teacher who was assaulted is OK. In addition to the adults charged, Guilford County Schools says school disciplinary policies are being followed with the students involved.